Oh shit. Y'all never guess what I got today. <gasps> Bam, baby, what you know? Okay, let's go, let's go look. Let's go look. All right, here we go. Man, I haven't done a video in a while. Look, I still got the fusion. Hey, what's this though? Oh yeah, this is a, yeah, it's a new toy. I'll do a little review of that later, but this is what we're talking about, bitches. All right, here we go. 2017 Kawasaki Z900. Boom, for your viewing pleasure, motherfuckers. Um, it's a sick ass bike. I will have to tell you guys a lot more about it. Uh, basically, it is a sleeved down 951 cc motorcycle uh, basically it's a z1000 um, but it just had sleeves put in to reduce it a little bit uh, it's crazy same transmission a uh, little bit different suspension on it different brakes of course the brakes that are on here nissan brakes this was the shit five years ago and then brimbo was like hey we're here this is the non-abs model basically uh, the reason you don't want ABS on this bike is because the ABS kicks in too early and it pulsates and it feels goofy. So you have this. I wish I could, man, I wish I could like show how cool this bike really looks. It's something, one of those things you really got to see in person. These lines, I was really afraid of. Um, man, it looks good. Here's a cluster. Really kind of bare bones. Uh, nothing special. No traction control, no ABS, no modes. But you got your ABS right here, right? <laughs> here we go. There she is right there. 13 whole miles on her. Fucking crazy. Um, yeah, I dig it. I'll tell you, I wasn't in the market for this. I was not. I was talked into this by YouTube, by you guys. Um, in fact, what happened was, I actually originally went to look at a Gixxer 750. Um, and then I called my insurance and my insurance on the Gixxer 750 was $130 a month. I have 17 years of riding experience, uh, 18 years of license, uh, no points on my record and I'm 35 and they want to charge me $130 a month. It's more than my bike payment. So I was like, screw that. What else can I buy that's cheaper? So I started looking around, running some quotes and I had this really, really awesome person at Geico who was like, hey, look at naked bikes. And I was like, what do you mean? And they said, well, for some reason, they rate naked bikes differently. Uh, basically, what they do is they take the number of bikes sold and then the number of bikes total divided by the number of months, and then you get this percentage. And that percentage is basically a risk percentage. Well, since a lot of people who get these things are like older guys who read them a little bit more responsibly, they crash them less, which means they have to pay them out less. And because of that, insurance is cheaper. What I mean by that is, the insurance for this bike right here uh, is about $41 a month compared to a ZX-10, which has 16 more horsepower than this. and It's got full fairings. Um, that is about $160 a month. So it's literally five times the insurance. Um, it's insane. So I was able to get this, which is sweet. It's got a little bit more of an upright riding position. It's still super aggressive, um, not to the point where it's gonna hurt yourself. For those of you that know me, I had a really bad motorcycle accident here. And uh, it basically prevents me from leaning forward on the bike. So you can see the profile, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna get some more miles on it. I haven't even scuffed up the tires on it yet, but I wanted to bring it to you guys first just so you can see it. And we'll kind of go from there. Um, if you have questions about the bike or anything, I'm gonna try to be really, really in depth on this one uh, because I wanna keep it for a while. That's the idea. But who knows? I have a problem. I do. Uh, <laughs> I do because, yeah, yeah, about that. Uh, but we'll talk about that too. So thanks for watching the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.